What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Six Scale Reviews. Sorry for the bit of a hiatus. You know, sometimes life takes over, but it's what it is. Uh, I am back here with another review with you guys. This is a Peacemaker from the TV show on HBO. It's TMS 071. Um, I was really excited for this um, once they, you know, announced the upgrades to the, you know, to the original um, solicitation of this figure. Um, you know, with the nasty joints and all that, the inaccurate head sculpt. I'm glad they got everything sorted out, and I'm really excited to take a look at this guy here with you guys. Um, first off, the the box looks really cool. It's very unique. It's got some stars right here. Um, of course, there's a slip cover on it. All the different eagles and whatnot. On the back side, it got the helmet of Peacemaker. All the warnings and whatnot that you would typically see on a Hot Toys box. And, you know, other various um designs on it but yeah pretty cool it's on a slip cover like i said um it's a very tight for some reason but once you take that off you can see the preview of the figure inside um this box is different obviously it's a little bit more uh i don't know how to describe it but uh punchy um <laughs> i like how it, there's a rainbow a peacemaker it's you know it's all like peace and love but really you know the character he's kind of crazy but yeah, this is um, a whole description of the character and everything. So if you want to go ahead, screenshot that, read that, whatever you want, it's all there. Um, really cool box though, it's very unique. Um, and I like it, it definitely suits the character. Let's open this guy up here. No more messing around. You can see he only comes with one tray. As I, you know, knock shit over. Uh, only comes with one tray eagly on top all of its accessories so let's go ahead get this guy out and uh see what he comes with let's go all right everybody here's everything that peacemaker comes with um yeah there's actually a pretty decent amount as you can see not too many hands you only get four different gesture hands plus the two fists that are on the figure itself so in that department not too much but is what it is um we get a second helmet here um that is uh, interchangeable. Um, it does have rolling eyes as well, so it comes with the straight tool. And I'll, I'll kind of show how it goes um, for this figure. Uh, we have a second faceplate with a removable tongue. Yes, I know the infamous uh, tongue tongue thing here. I'm gonna zoom in here. The infamous tongue is just a magnet. It just goes in like that. You can take it off very easily. So that's pretty cool. Second faceplate, why not? But, yeah, I'm just going to prop that in there for now. But uh, you can see, again, looking at the head, the helmet looks fantastic. This is going to be an absolute fingerprint magnet, so just a heads up. Um, we have some other various weapons here. Um, they look great. As you can see, that there's tiny little details, some weathering. Um, you got some Dove of Peace uh, symbols in the blade itself. Looks like a rubber grip. Uh, looks great. We have the sword as well. The sword is a little bit larger. Um, it's a larger piece, of course. It's a damn sword. Um, <laughs> but it looks good. Um, it looks like it could be metal, but it's not. It's uh, definitely plastic. Um, very light, so don't got to worry about that too much. We have a silencer for his pistol that is, um, you know, from the factory. Uh, not supposed to come out of his holster, but I have... Um, got it out of the holster i'm sure as many of you have seen you can dig it out and i will show you how i did it um because i did it already and uh yeah uh, let's see what else we have eagly now this little guy is actually really cool he's got an articulated head um you can move him you know all kinds of different ways you can move up and down and then the wings themselves are interchangeable um you can just pop this out it's a bit rigid so it's hard to get out and you can get these really big wings that come with them and they will go in the slots themselves so oh, do i have the wrong side i think i do what an idiot um oh no i did have it right anyways you get the gist the the damn the damn wings go in here just like so and you get eagly with this uh you know full-on wing it's pretty big it's bigger than the base as you can see uh for size 
So yeah, might might not be a huge uh, space saver, but uh, at least at least you get the option. At least that's pretty cool. But um, last but not least, we have the base here, very peacemaker theme. It's got like a uh, like a uh, like a etch like a etch a sketch type of uh, inner design. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but does John Cena's face right here? You got Eagly with his eyes. You can kind of see right there. Um, and the Dove of Peace right here as well. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to see at first. You got to catch it at the right light. But, yeah, the base is cool. It's nice. It says Peacemaker. It's plastic, of course. So, yeah, that's everything that comes with. Let's go ahead and get the figure out and take a closer look at him. Let's go. All right, everybody. Here's Peacemaker up close and personal. Now, this thing is absolutely amazing. The tailoring on this looks fantastic. The arms are sculpted. Man, this figure looks incredible, man. This is like, quote-unquote, shrink ray uh, type deal here. This thing looks amazing. Um, the outfit, everything, it's just definitely, definitely a huge, huge improvement over what Hot Toys solicited first with the joints and the head sculpt. I'm so glad they did this, um, a, a total, you know, rehaul of what we originally saw this thing looks amazing though the colors pop on this um that head sculpt is absolutely fantastic i think that looks just like john cena from mostly every angle um and this thing has rolling eyes that dome is very shiny um it looks really really damn good um now this material right here is kind of like a like a spider-man type of material um if that makes any sense it's, it doesn't feel like pleather but i could be wrong i'm not entirely sure but it is kind of like a this is definitely like a rubber same here in all these areas it's like a rubber so i would treat that with caution but this seems like there's some space so hopefully it doesn't damage over time but that would be my only point of concern um the arms are very much a new that new silicone rubber that hot toys uses um this is my first time handling it so i'm not sure what to do with it um <laughs> Or what it can do but it's got some spacing between the skeleton inside and you know obviously it's not hopefully it doesn't rip or anything so we'll find out i guess over time um the pants look very khaki um i think in the show they're a bit more white but i could be wrong this could be more like on the actual practical suit i'm not sure not an expert on peacemaker but nonetheless it still looks fantastic here is the pistol now i was able to remove mine and that is because you can kind of see right here. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in if I can get my camera to focus. You see that little bright spot, that bright blue spot? So there was a tab there that's holding the gun in via the trigger. If you can get like a small knife or anything, you can actually just cut. You can cut that part out and get the pistol out. Um, I just caution, I would just caution you to be very careful and not scratch the gun because it is fully painted. As you can see here, it is very nicely painted. You know, it doesn't doesn't have any moving parts or anything. I believe the magazine is removable, and of course, you can put the silencer at the end. Um, but it is fully painted, so why else would Hot Toys put that in there if you weren't meant to remove it? Um, so yeah, uh, do it at your own risk. Um, yeah, you can you can definitely see where that was before. Um, yeah, some people say you can use a heat gun. I chose to just cut it out. I don't think it really matters as long as, you know, you can do what it is that you want to do with this guy. Um, you can see all the details in the belt. Different color of shades of blue. You got dark and then lighter towards the middle and then dark again. That looks amazing. And, yeah, there's just, you know, this thing just has so much presence to it. I absolutely am enjoying this figure a lot. Um, you got some boots. And even though they're all one piece, you can see that it's got some good ankle articulation at the very least so that's a huge plus and yeah um to access the rolling eyes and all that stuff you have to remove the plate and that shit goes flying um <laughs> and he looks so fucking scary like this um but if you didn't know you basically have a full john cena portrait under that damn head sculpt look at that you just have a huge seam line across the whole front but yeah that looks really good man um i wish they did include a full portrait with this but 
I'll take it, man. That looks fantastic. Um, the rolling eyes are on the back section of the head. You can kind of see them right there. That's why you have this um, straight this straight piece because it's the only thing that will reach all the way back there because of the head connector. Um, it's not ac not really accessible. You definitely can't get in there with your fingers. So I highly recommend using the tool. But, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put the other helmet on because... Why not? I'm trying to open it here with one hand. Boom. And then, boom. So this is more of the uh, classic Peacemaker um, outfit or helmet, I guess, instead of the Sonic Boom one, as we saw earlier with the blue stripe. Um, I'm not sure how I'll display mine, but uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, which one you would rock. Um, yeah, so let's get to some articulation, guys because this is uh you know pretty interesting so this whole part is on a separate joint you can actually pop off the arms if you wanted to so this thing can do some pretty good poses man uh you can do whatever you want um it doesn't have a butterfly because the butterfly is here at the elbow so you can get it to do that there so just keep that in mind and the elbows are double jointed um as you can see but it is that rubber so I don't know. I we'll see how it you know holds up over time. Uh, I guess. I mean, that's all we can really do, right? Um, the head sculpt on mine is actually really loose. I'm not sure why. Mine just came like that out the box. He's all bobble headed and he looks hilarious while I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, there's that. He doesn't really have a crazy amount, a good amount. You know, is it's definitely um, enough for me. So I, I'm not too worried about it. Um, the ab crunch is very, you got one right here at the very top. Um, I don't feel another one. If there is, it's very minor. Yeah, it is very minor. There's a second one down here. It is very minor, um, very stiff. Um, so yeah, you got some at least decent uh, ab crunch right there. It's very muscular body, guys. I mean, this thing is definitely bigger than a regular Hot Toys body. It's very wide. Um, this has definitely got to be a new body um, or at least you know, a body from a bigger character that I don't have. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, the legs, the legs are surprisingly as tight as these pants are, he can still get just about 90 degrees. Um, he can go out only about 45, which is, you know, it's whatever you can hear the ratchets. So that's nice as well. You got double jointed knees. That don't really go all the way up because the pants are so tight. So just be careful with that. Watch for any pinching because the materials are tight. Even though it is cloth, you just don't want to pinch that, man. You don't want to get any tears or anything like that in this. And kind of like I mentioned earlier, the boots, you do have some really good ankle articulation for having a single piece boot. So I don't know if Hot Toys is kind of learning from before, but I feel like any figure that has any full sculpted boots like this should be able to move their ankles like that so i think that's a huge plus but that's it for articulation sorry that was kind of a long section but uh yeah let's go ahead pose this guy up and wrap this video guys let's go all right everyone here we are with the first pose and it's nothing crazy he's just standing here straight up and down um eyes to the side this thing looks incredible man he has so much presence the, the body on this figure is actually really good um, the arms are sculpted very nicely. The gloves, there's some subtle weathering to it. There's just some really good details in this figure that I would not have thought to be there. Um, the arms are very nicely sculpted. Um, you know, even though they're that rubber, they have very nice textures to it. Um, yeah, man, everything about this figure looks amazing. Um, really one of Hot Toys, uh, you know, best work, man. Um, this is great really happy for this to finally be out and the way they changed and upgraded it from the original solicitation um night and day difference i mean you guys can all see that um yeah uh i tried to emulate some of the the dancing uh poses from the intro but it was just a bit difficult because uh, yeah it's just hard to get a figure to look like it's dancing but um yeah um like i said Figure is really fun to pose. I have him here choking Joker, aiming the pistol up to his head uh, with the screaming head sculpt on. Um, 
fun figure to pose. I'm not too worried about the arms, but I definitely wouldn't leave them like that just because I've never personally dealt with the uh, silicone from, or that new silicone from Hot Toys. Uh, but yeah, uh, it definitely, the figure's definitely strong enough to hold up uh, another figure in its hand. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, figure looks amazing. I honestly, I think this figure is a solid, like nine out of 10. It looks incredible, especially on the shelf. You got Eagly there with them. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments because I know this was one that hit waitlist on Sideshow pretty quickly. Um, I had this pre-order for over a year, so really good, really good figure, man. So happy to finally get it. Look at Eagly there, like looking at all kinds of bird-like. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this this thing looks amazing, man. Really happy with it. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys' final score is. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you haven't, please hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.